Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Red Rock Crawlers. This week we're going to be installing the bumper. It's been sitting in the garage long enough. I finally have it powder coated and ready to go. Um, I've got some free time, so today's the day, right? This should be a pretty easy install. I've just got to take the old one off. The uh, factory hitch receiver has got to come off because the new one's embedded. Um, and I believe I have to drill one hole per side and it should go right on. I got the lights put in. That, that was actually pretty easy. They're just a uh, rubber mounting bracket that goes in to the holes here and then the light just fits inside those. They, they just literally just push in. I just, um, I just pushed them around. I didn't use any grease or anything. I just pushed them in. I've seen some people will use they'll heat up the rubber to fit it in there, um, but I didn't have any problems. They just went in pretty easy. So um, well, let's get to it. So we got the factory bumper off. Uh, that's pretty simple as I expected it would be. I didn't feel like taking the spare tire off so I just opened the tailgate and it, it managed to work out. We'll see about putting a new one on. I may have to take the tire off after all, but we'll see. Um, so I just gotta take the, the receiver off and then we'll, we'll get to the new one. Mark this one here. Mark your hole for the speed clips. I just sprayed the exposed metal real quick just so it won't rust. There are four holes down here underneath that actually use the same uh, clip nuts um, or clip bolts and I think I'm going to go ahead and drill those and, and put them in. I do plan on towing with this and, and it'll be nice just to have that extra reinforcement there. So I got to get those put on. And just in time, my extra help showed up. Hey there, Buzz Lightyear. What are you finding under there? Um, what do you see there, Buzz Lightyear? Um, this. Can you fix it? Yeah. Can I some tools, please? Okay. Here's your tool. We got it all done. I need a two too. All right, I think we're done. I don't know if I can be more awkward here if I tried.
all right you guys uh, I am I'm pretty much done I got the bumper installed I've actually already run the the wiring for the lights uh, I had to do it in the dark so I didn't film it I know this is really hard to see I need to do this in the daylight but I will show you what I did here I got fed up trying to record this at night so I just waited for some daylight I mounted the ground wire to the frame and connected the hot lines and ran them all the way along the uh, frame uh, all the way up to the engine bay. And I made sure to heat shrink all the connections so no water is getting in there. Okay, so I ran my, my lead wire up here to my uh, central command box which is built by Strikeforce Zebra. They make this awesome electronics hub. It has all the fuses and relays and everything that I need for any future powered accessory. Um, it's even waterproof. All the uh, the connections are water sealed, so it's it's awesome that way. Um, my <laughs> my neighbors are pulling down a tree right now, so I hope you guys can hear me. But anyway, so I ran my feed line up to this box, plugged it in, and uh, we're gonna try the switch and we'll see what happens. So along with that, uh, the central command box that I have under the hood, it comes with a switch panel up here and I've got six switches up here that are already powered. And so all you have to really do is run the power from the set accessory that you wanna add into that box I just showed you under the hood and it's ready to go. So it's great for me because I'm an idiot when it comes to electronics. Um, my friend Steve, who owns uh, Strike Force Zebra, installed this for me and it is fantastic. This is actually the first accessory that I am adding to the system. And uh, so we're gonna see if it works. I'm really happy about that. That turned out pretty good. That's great for a dummy like me. It makes this an easy system to add future accessories. All right guys, well that's it. The bumper's done, it's powered, lights work. I really like the graphite with the red. Um, I like the full width. I like that it gives you some extra corner armor. I like the built-in receiver because it's higher than the factory receiver. So there's a lot I like about it. All right, well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate all your support and hope you enjoyed this video. I'm excited to go test the bumper out and uh, put it to some good use. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. You could also join our Facebook group. Uh, it's Red Rock Crawlers and on Facebook and you can join in the conversation there. We talk about Jeeps and builds and off-road. You can also join us on Instagram. Stay tuned. We'll see you on the trail. I got new lights. Oh, but why are they coming at morning time? Well, I because I turned them on. Oh. Do you think that'll help us go jeeping? Yeah! Yeah? Yeah, and we can see animals chasing us. We can see the animals chasing us, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to come with you. It feels fancy. It feels fancy. Yeah. <laughs> Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. 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 Thanks for watching.